Millennial Song Kids, my name is Emily and today we are starting a brand new series called Love Others. Are you sitting down? Are you ready for the lesson? Here we go. Jesus gathered his disciples on the side of a mountain to tell them about the kingdom of God. This was simply called the Sermon on the Mount. What he did was he was teaching them at that time about God's love and how we should love others. Now, we can love others by simply being fair to them, keeping our promises, and helping those in need. In 1 John 3 verse 18, it says, Dear children, don't just talk about love, put your love into action. Then it will truly be love. Well, today we are learning all about how Jesus teaches us to be kind to others. Are you guys ready for the Bible story? Amazing. Today's Bible story is all about Zacchaeus. Can you say Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus, well done. Well, this is Zacchaeus. I've got a picture of Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. And one day, Jesus was walking through the town of Jericho and Zacchaeus, he was a tax collector, which meant he collected people's money that they needed to give into the government. And so Zacchaeus was busy collecting taxes and he said, wait, he heard Jesus was in town. So he decided he needed to go and see who this person Jesus was. But as the crowds gathered, he could not see Jesus because Zacchaeus was a very short person. And so what he did was, I brought my small little tree with me. He climbed up a tree climbed up to the top of the tree so that he could see Jesus. And as Zacchaeus climbed up the tree, he waited for Jesus to come past. And as Jesus passed him, Jesus said, he stopped and he said, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. And everybody was surprised that Jesus would ask Zacchaeus, the tax collector, to come down the tree. You see, Hillsong kids, Zacchaeus wasn't very a very nice man. He collected people's taxes, but he didn't just collect what he needed. He collected more than he was supposed to collect. Now, Hilton kids, that wasn't very nice. The fact that he took more than he was supposed to. But you know what? Jesus said to Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. Today, I want to go to your house. Everybody was shocked. Even Zacchaeus was shocked that Jesus showed him such kindness that he wanted to go to his house even though he wasn't a very nice person. Now, Hillsong kids, in the Bible, in Matthew, are you listening? In Matthew 5, verse 38 to 48, it says, You have heard that it was said, an eye must be put out for an eye, a tooth must be knocked out for a tooth. But here, here is what I tell you. Do not fight against an evil person. Suppose someone slaps you on the right cheek. Turn your other cheek to them also. Suppose someone takes you to court to get your shirt. Let them have your coat also. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles. Do not turn away the one who wants to borrow something from you. Now, how amazing is that? It says that, and Jesus taught that on the side of the mountain, the Sermon on the Mount, he taught that to his disciples. Now, we need to be just like Jesus and show others how to be kind. We can show others up. We can show others kindness. So today, Hillsong Kids, we are going to go on a bit of an adventure to learn all about how we can be kind to others. Are you guys ready for the big word? Why don't you stand up on your feet? And we are going into our brand new big word. One John for seven. Dear friends, we should love each other Cause love comes from God Dear friends, we should love each other Cause love comes, love comes from God friends 
we should love each other Cause love comes from God Dear friends, we should love each other Well, Hillsong Kids, how amazing was that new big word? Well, we are going to get into our wrap-up points, but if you are taking notes, you can write down our first point. Our first point is, go the extra mile. Have you ever heard this, the phrase, go the extra mile? Now, maybe you've heard this phrase when somebody put on an amazing party and instead of just putting out some basic decoration, basic boring decorations, they went the extra mile. They made, put awesome balloons up and amazing bunting and banners and they had streamers and they've made an awesome table setting and they got the best food. What would you normally say? You would say, wow, this person really went the extra mile. Now, can you guess where that phrase comes from? Did you know that it actually came from the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus was talking about going the extra mile? Now, Hillsong Kids, in Matthew 38 verse 42, I just read the scripture in our Bible story, but it's such an awesome scripture. I have to read it again. It says, you have heard that it was said, an eye must be put out for an eye. A tooth must be knocked out for a tooth. But here is what I tell you. Do not fight against an evil person. Suppose someone slaps you on your right cheek. Turn your other cheek to them also. Suppose someone takes you to court to get your shirt. Let them have your coat also. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles. Give to the one who asks you for something. Don't turn away from the other who wants to borrow something from you. Now in the scripture, it talks about instead of going one mile, go two miles. Back in the olden days, when the Romans were still in rule, the Roman soldiers would ask the Jewish people to carry their backpacks. Now, if a Roman soldier were to ask you to carry their backpacks one mile, you wouldn't go further than that one mile that they've asked you. You wouldn't go the extra mile. Because when you were to carry it, they weren't very nice to you. They would tease you. They would embarrass you. It was quite embarrassing and not so nice to do that. But you know what? Here yeah, in the Bible, Jesus says, don't just go one mile, go two miles, go the extra mile. Now, just like the Roman soldiers, we're not so nice always to the Jewish people. Sometimes we have someone in school that's not so nice to us, that's a little bit mean to us. But Jesus tells us that we actually need to be kind even to those who are not so kind to us, sales on kids. How great is that? Are you ready for point number two? Point number two, if you're taking notes, is branched out. Can you say branch out? Now, in our Bible story, we spoke about Zacchaeus and how Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He wasn't a very nice person. He didn't just collect the taxes, the money of the people that they owed to the government. He collected more than he was supposed to. And you know what he did? He actually kept it for himself and he got rich by keeping their taxes for himself, which wasn't a very nice thing to do. But you know what Jesus showed us? When Jesus was walking through the town and Zacchaeus was up in the tree, Jesus branched out to Zacchaeus and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. Today, I want to go to your house. Jesus showed Zacchaeus kindness. How great is that? Do you know what Hillsong kids? In Luke 19 verse 5 and 8, it says, Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was. He looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this. They began to whisper among themselves. They said, Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. 
everybody was so confused by this kindness that Jesus was showing Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus himself was very shocked that Jesus showed him such kindness. But you know what, Hillsong kids? We can be just like Jesus and we can show others kindness. Our big point for today is Jesus teaches us to be kind to others. Well, Hillsong kids, I'm going to pray for us. Are you ready? Can you close your eyes? Thank you, Jesus, that we know that you have shown us such a great example to be kind to others. Thank you, Jesus, that you help us to be kind to our friends and our family. Even though they don't always treat us so nicely, we thank you, Lord, that you help us to be always kind to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How amazing was that worship song? 
Well, today I would like to invite you to make the best decision you could ever make. Hillsong Kids, if you've never asked Jesus to come and be your best friend and live inside your heart, today we'd love to give you the opportunity to do that. If that's you and you would like to make that decision, why don't you put your hand on your heart as we pray this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my life and be my best friend. Forgive me of all the things I've done wrong. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Help me to love you and live for you every day. Because of you, Jesus, today I am a Christian. Amen. Thank you.